In this video, I'm going to be talking about templates. Let's go ahead and jump over to the templates tab. Click on it at the top and you'll see the options on the right have changed. The first thing you'll notice is the for this photo section. Luminar analyzes what's in your photo and it tries to recommend template collections that it thinks will be a good fit. So here it's showing one of the template collections that I've created, my Nicolzi Artist Surface Textures. And if I scroll to the right, there are a few other options. I'm gonna to switch to another photo and then you can see how this is actually changing. So if I go to the left, it sees a landscape here. So it's recommending a couple of landscape collections. And I'll go to another photo. This one obviously is a portrait. So Luminar is recommending some portrait collections at the very top. If I scroll down a little further, and I'll go ahead and get to these options here in just a moment, you can see more of those collections categories. So we have the essentials, landscape, and so on. And if this is a little too much and you just kind of want to see a clean list of everything, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll have an all categories list where you can just click. Let's say I wanted to maybe go to the cinematic one, and now I can see two of the collections that are inside of that specific category. Let me go ahead and backtrack there. I'm gonna go back up to the top and let's talk about this section here. The first one is favorites. If I click on this, you can see I have one of my templates in here. There's also a heart icon just to the right of it. If I click this heart icon, it's going to remove it from my favorites. So I'll go ahead and do that and that favorite disappeared. Let me go back over to my templates. I'll just go back into the artist surface textures. And if I wanted to add it back, I can go in and click that heart icon and maybe find a few others to add as well. So if I go back over to those favorites, I can see all three of those have been added. Below that are my templates. Now these are templates that you will have created and saved yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in another video. There's also a section for all of your purchase templates. When you click to go into this section, you'll see all of those purchase templates as beautiful thumbnail views. So you can scroll through and when you find the one you want to work with, click it and you'll have all of those templates available. At the top here, if you click this get more templates option, it will take you over to the Luminar Marketplace where you can purchase more. But you can add any template collection that you've downloaded from the internet into this section. They don't have to be only Luminar. As you can see, I create a lot of my own and those are the ones that I have listed here inside of this section. The last thing here is legacy templates. Now I don't have anything inside of my legacy templates and you will likely have something in this section if you previously had Luminar 4 already installed on your computer and then you installed Luminar AI. If you had any looks inside of Luminar 4 that either you purchased and imported or maybe you created and saved them yourself, those should appear here. Now let's talk about applying a template. Templates are made to be kind of a starting point for your image. They're not necessarily meant to be everything you're gonna to do to your photo with one click. And you want to apply a template first. You don't wanna go into the edit tab, make a bunch of adjustments, and then go in and add a template. Because what's gonna happen is the templates will overwrite any edit changes you've made. Let me show you an example. I'll go up to edit, and I'll scroll up to something that's gonna be pretty obvious to know if it's been changed. So I'll go ahead and convert this image to black and white. Now if I go back over to Templates, I'll access the Artist Surface Textures, and I'll go ahead and click one. You can see that it took away that black and white adjustment, and it applied whatever was inside of the template. So you want to make sure that the template is the first thing that you play around with and add, and then you go back into the Edit tab to make other changes. And it's also really easy to know what's been edited. Let me go up to the Edit tab with this template applied, and if you'll notice, there are some small gray dots next to some of these tools. If you see that gray dot, that means that this tool has been applied to this template. So you can easily go in and see how it's affected your photo, reset it, make adjustments, and do whatever you like to make this photo uniquely yours. This template also has a texture applied, and you'll know that because there's also a dot next to the actual icon on the right. So in the Edit tab, you can see that little gray dot if I click on it, it kind of disappears, 
but if I hover away from it, you'll see it's still there. So this one has a texture applied. I can toggle it off and on to see how that's affecting my photo.